वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन स्ट्रेटिफाइड सैम्पलिंग वर्सेस कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सिमिलैरिटीज डिफरेंसेस एंड व्हाट इज द एम फॉर स्ट्रेटिफाइड सैम्पलिंग एंड कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी कंटेंट यूनिफॉर्मिटी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ डोजेस यूनिट्स whether you are working on to the solid oral formulations or liquid oral formulations or any other type of formulation so uniformity of dose should be there in each of the dose to be administered and this video will give you complete understanding about the similarities and differences between stratified sampling versus content uniformity or uniformity of doses units be with me till the end of this video to understand many of the things stratified sampling is a type of in process sampling or it is for the validation of the pharmaceutical formulation or process stratified sampling is done during the processing while content uniformity testing is done after the completion of the batch and it is done in the after the completion of the process so stratified sampling is a for example it is a in process uh, type and cu is the finished product sampling or finished product sample testing stratified sampling and content uniformity or you can say it as a uniformity of doses units these uh, terminologies are very well known in the pharmaceutical field and mainly in the quality section of the pharmaceutical industry so whether the product is in research phase or in exhibit phase or in the commercial phase stratified sampling and content uniformity plays the very critical role stratified sampling involves collecting samples from different predetermined time points or strata from the batch and stratified sampling aim to ensure that samples are taken from various locations of manufacturing process like compression or capsule filling so the entire batch run is divided into the group or strata and for compression and capsule filling that is the time intervals so time intervals make the strata and from those locations or strata the samples are taken and tested for the assay stratified sampling aim is to represent the entire batch accurately by ensuring that each portion is tested making the sampling more representative of the entire production run and stratified sampling is used for process validation so this is one of the important thing here is to understand that stratified sampling is for process validation and here stratified sampling in process validation phase is to ensure that quality and consistency of the batch are uniform across the different time points or across the different stages so for example your uh, capsule filling run or compression run is uh, going for 2 hours 4 hours 8 hours whatever so the stratified sampling will be done at each individual location as per the predetermined time points and the samples will be tested for assay after getting the results you will know that the batch is having uniform content of the api throughout the process run and throughout the batch stratified sampling uh, advantages are there like it provides the confidence that cu or content uniformity or uniformity of the doses units can be achieved in the batch so once you get the good results or results confirming to the predetermined specifications for sam stratified sampling that time you will have confidence that content uniformity testing will pass for this batch stratified sampling reduces the variability in the sampling stratified sampling provides a better understanding of the entire batch and it helps to identify any variations uh, that might occur during the production 
so stratified sampling is to be done in the compression or capsule filling stratified sampling results and stratified sampling locations are dependent on to the blend uniformity results and blend uniformity data like uh, mean minimum maximum values and the rsd now coming to the content uniformity so content uniformity uh, or uniformity of doses units refers to the consistency of active pharmaceutical ingredient or api or drug substance within a set of doses units these doses units may be capsules or tablets and this cu test ensures that each unit contains the appropriate amount of active ingredient or appropriate amount of the drug substance confirming to the label claim with some variations and these variations are as per the regulatory guidelines for example as a limit is 90 to 110% of the label claim or 95% to 105% of the label claim cu is to ensure that each individual doses units contains the correct dose so that the safety and efficacy can be maintained and patient will get the safe and effective dose of the medicine in each dose administration cu is a critical quality attribute for quality control testing and in the release of the finished products in the market for example the usp 905 chapters provide the information for cu and it requires testing contain uniformity for tablets where the api present in the low concentration or where uniformity of api distribution could be an issue stratified sampling and contain uniformity has uh, become very critical for low dose type of formulations and for the formulations which contain the narrow therapeutic index drug contain uniformity typically involves testing the 10 units and calculating the amount of api in each unit to ensure that it falls within the specific range if units fall outside the specific limits additional units may be tested to confirm the uniformity so first 10 units are tested and if uh, the av value is not uh, within the specified limits then another 20 units are tested and then the av value is calculated cu ensures that each dose delivered to the patient is consistent this is the one of the advantage of cu and also cu helps in maintaining therapeutic efficacy and safety these are the advantages of the cu now coming to the key differences between the stratified sampling and content uniformity so stratified sampling helps in identifying variations and ensuring the consistent quality across the entire batch whereas uniformity of doses units or content uniformity refers to the consistency of active pharmaceutical ingredient within individual doses units stratified sampling method is for across a batch or across a process sampling method is done for stratified sampling and in content uniformity uniformity of within the api within the individual doses units is tested in stratified sampling ensuring representative samples across entire batch while in cu it helps in ensuring each dose has the appropriate api amount stratified sampling is in the process validation and quality assurance stage and content uniformity is finished product testing and batch release criteria in stratified sampling samples from various strata of the batch are taken while in the content uniformity the finished formulation is tested for the amount of api in the individual unit stratified sampling is done as per the ASTM guidelines US FDA guidelines some regulatory guidelines are there GMP guidelines are there so as per those guidelines stratified sampling is done and stratified results are evaluated content uniformity requirements are uh, specific and these are outlined in the pharmacopias like USP EP and other pharmacopias so i hope i have covered the topic
uh, differences and similarities between the stratified sampling versus contained uniformity or uniformity of closest units. See the aim of both these testing is to ensure the API is distributed uniformly throughout the batch and in throughout the units. You can watch the videos present in the Pharma Learning in Depth channel for a stratified sampling. Two, three videos are there, and one video is there for content uniformity. So I suggest you to watch those videos so that you will get good understanding about these two topics. And then once again, you should watch this video so that you will get all the information about the stratified sampling and content uniformity. Thank you for watching the video and I am very glad to see that many of the people are watching the video uh, from India and out of India and I hope these people are getting benefited from uh, the Pharma Learning in Depth channel videos and also in upcoming time I will make more elaborative videos to give you in-depth understanding about these important topics. Thank you.